In this tutorial, we will demonstrate how to organize a list of order line items by invoice using Stylus Studio Enterprise Suite. Our input is a tab separated value file, and our target is an XML schema describing an invoice. We start by creating a new XSLT transformation. When the scenario dialog comes up, we browse for the input document. In the open file dialog, we change the file filter to include all files. We select the text file we want to input. Then we click on Open using XML Converter. When the Select Convert dialog comes up, we select the Tab Separated Values Converter. Next, we instruct the converter to interpret the first line of the file as column headers. For our task, we want to take advantage of the powerful grouping feature available in XSLT2, so we set the XSLT version to 2.0. After a quick switch to the mapping tab, we drag and drop the invoice schema to the target panel. What we want to do here is generate an invoice element for each invoice group. So we create a for each group instruction by right clicking on the canvas. Then we connect element row to the port select in the for each group. And we connect the for each group output port to the target invoice element. To establish the grouping logic, we connect element inv number to the group by port. Because the element source names match the target names, we can count on Autolink to do most of the work. We just need to manually link M number because Autolink skips elements that are already linked. For mapping the items, we need to add a simple for each statement which connects to element items. We set the select port to function current group. By doing this, we are looping on all items in the group, the invoice. To make sure we are generating valid XML according to the output schema, we set up post validation. We click on the scenario dialog and then the validation tab. Next, we enable validation and then browse for the schema we want to validate against. Now we can run the transformation and verify that our XML output is valid.